Good morning, good morning everyone, and welcome to Morning Inspirations with Pastor Tim. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This morning's inspiration is found in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 26. As often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Jesus said, whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in them. I am the bread of life, the living bread that came down from heaven. Unless you eat the flesh of the son of man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life and I will raise them up at the last day. Under the law of the Old Testament, only the high priest could enter beyond the veil of the tabernacle into the Holy of Holies, the very presence of God, once a year. And if he had not been covered in the blood of the sacrifice and without sin, he would surely die. Whenever we celebrate the Lord's Supper, we must remember its sacred significance. It is a holy remembrance of Christ's shed blood and its inauguration of a new covenant based on the forgiveness of sin through Christ's death. When you drink of the cup, realize that your fellowship with the Father is grounded in the blood of Christ. You may talk with him and receive his friendly guidance and eternal embrace, all because God chose to crucify his son on your behalf. The barrier of sin could not be removed except by the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. The stain of sin could not be taken away apart from his shed blood. The blood of Christ covers your sin and clothes you in God's righteousness. As you eat of the bread, think upon the fathomless love of God. God's love sent Jesus to the cross for you and God's love forgives and restores you to communion with the Father. Christ's blood is God's love demonstrated because Jesus was broken and bloodied for you. You can enjoy the wholeness, joy, and peace of a personal living relationship with God in Christ Jesus. Thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you again on tomorrow. Have a blessed day.